Am I the asshole for yelling at my mom when she acted like nothing happened after my dad cheated? My parents have a great relationship. Well, that's what I thought before what happened. My 14 female parents usually have friends over and always tell me I'm free to have friends over. So it wasn't a surprise when I unlocked the front door and could hear my dad and another woman in the kitchen. Since my dad usually calls my name when he hears me opening the door, I thought he probably didn't think I was home yet. I walked to the kitchen to greet my dad, but then I saw it. He kissed the woman on the cheek, a woman that isn't mom. Both of them were turned, facing away from the door so they didn't see me. My dad proceeded to flirt with the woman until I threw my bag on the ground to get their attention. They pulled apart and dad called out if that was me. I walked into the kitchen and greeted him and the woman. Then I locked myself in my room for the rest of the afternoon. I only came out when my mom came home. I helped my mom put away her things and put her weekly flowers in a vase before turning to her and telling her what I saw. She stayed quiet for a moment, then told me that she'll take care of it and that I shouldn't worry about it anymore. A few days go by and nothing happens. There was no fight, no arguments, no sour faces at each other, no divorce, nothing that would usually happen to cheaters in movies and stuff. It pissed me off how my mom could continue to joke with my dad after what he did and still cook for him. Yesterday after dinner, when my dad went to bed, I went at her demanding to know what's wrong with her and how she could go on living a life with a dad who cheated. She sighed at me and told me to drop it, but I didn't. I asked her why she wasn't getting a divorce and why she was putting up with my piece of shit dad. She glared at me and told me to watch my tone and to not disrespect my dad. Finally, I yelled at her asking why she was defending him and she told me that she would explain everything once I was a little I told older. my brother, 17, the whole story so he could know the truth about my dad, but he seemed really irritated. He told me to shut up and not tell anyone else in the family about my dad. He said that if mom said she'd handle, she would. I told him she didn't and that they were still acting as if nothing happened. He glared at me and told me to calm down and talk to my mom like an adult if I wanted to act like one, instead of just yelling at her. He also called me an asshole for escalating the situation and making dinners awkward. I don't think I'm the asshole, but whatever. Am I the asshole? My after-school activities got canceled that day and I didn't let my parents know beforehand so they didn't expect me to be home so early. Edit. I asked my dad about it, but he just avoided answering and told me that him and mom would talk to me about it when I got a little older. Edit. Going against what my brother said, I talked to my cousin about it since we're pretty close, 16 female. Basically, she told me two things. One, stop getting influenced by TikTok and Reddit. And two, said that they're in an open relationship. I asked how she knew for sure, and she told me to give my parents time to explain this and that it took her mom a month before she finally sat her and my brother down after they caught her with a family friend. After asking, she told me this happened about five years ago. I never thought my aunt was like that. So part of me thinks that my parents might be in an open relationship. So am I the asshole for yelling at my mom when she acted like nothing happened after my dad cheated? Am I the asshole for telling my HOA to F off because my son violated their curfew? My dumbass HOA imposed a 9.45 p.m. curfew for those under 18 in our HOA, mostly because of minors drinking and doing drugs in a park and playground. I think there may have been some graffiti and vandalism. Seems pretty reasonable, right? 
to F over everyone else for the actions of a few, which by the way, has done effing nothing to stop whoever is doing this. The problem actually got worse after curfew, but now whenever kids lose track of time, they end up having to spend the night at neighbors' houses in fear of getting in trouble with the HOA for breaking curfew. This is an effing stupid as laws banning guns or drugs. I'm pretty sure that's unconstitutional and there's talk of a lawsuit. My 17-year-old son works at a movie theater and work oftentimes at midnight or so. He has been asked by HOA board members why he's violating curfew and he explains why. They said it doesn't matter and he's getting a warning. He told them to go to hell and he doesn't respect them or give a flying squirrel. I ended up getting a letter with a fine. I responded back and told them I'm not paying. I got a visit from an HOA member and he told me I'd be getting fined as long as my son continues to violate curfew. I told him to eat caca and I closed the door. I'd like to see them bring this to court. They keep coming to me and I just slam the door on them. So am I the asshole for telling my HOA to F off because my son violates their curfew? Am I the asshole for telling my brother and his wife that I will be suing them for selling the nursery I gave them? I, 36 female, lost my three-year-old son from a chronic condition that he was born with. I struggled a lot with his illness and received a lot of support from my family when my ex-husband was too busy with work than to care for my son. When my brother and his wife found out they were expecting, they suffered from a miscarriage after a miscarriage. And because of their financial situation, I decided to lend them my son's nursery to use for their baby under the condition they give it back when they no longer need it. It's an expensive nursery and the process of shipping, I live in another country took me time and money, and of course, not to mention its sentimental value. They were so grateful for my help and appreciated it a lot, but my sister-in-law unfortunately lost her baby at five months in the pregnancy, and I heard from my mother since my brother and sister-in-law went low contact with everyone to be able to grieve. I waited a few months before asking for the nursery back since they no longer need it. I called and asked my brother to send it back despite how cruel I sounded, but I just had to get it back. But I was shocked after my brother said that they sold it, all of it, every single piece. I asked why and he said his wife was depressed and he needed money to take her on a vacation a month ago. I lost my temper and started screaming at him on the phone, reminding him that this belonged to my son and only for them to borrow, not sell. He apologized and asked me to be understanding of his wife's position as a grieving mother myself. They should have considered how selling my son's nursery would affect me as a grieving mother. And he replied that he didn't think I was being fair to scream at him for wanting to help his wife through these hard times. I told him that is not my problem and that I will be suing them both over the nursery and for every penny he made out of selling it. He called me nuts and hung up, then called my parents. They tried to get involved after I threatened to sue and called me calloused and unhinged for threatening my brother and sister-in-law with court and told me to let it go. I don't need the nursery and it's not worth causing permanent damage in my relationship with my brother over quote unquote, a few pieces of furniture. My ex-husband blamed me, saying it was my fault for giving the nursery to my brother, but I just wanted to help. He keeps pushing for the idea to sue, but my parents are telling me not to. Just to explain something, my ex-husband gets a say because he paid for the nursery as well, and he keeps pushing for me to sue and told me he'll do it if I choose to back down. He keeps saying it's my fault for letting my brother have the nursery in the first place, and he's very upset with me about it. So am I the asshole for wanting to sue them for the nursery that cost us nearly $4,000? 
Would I be the asshole for suing my boyfriend for not paying my medical bills? I, 21 female, have been with my boyfriend, 24 male, for four years. We are both in college and don't have a lot of money altogether because of that. I have more money saved up, but that's only for college, so I don't really even consider that money that I have, if that makes sense. So I am deathly allergic to peanuts, and it has been this way my whole life. I was told even the smallest speck could kill me. I have been very careful, and in my entire life, I've only had to use my EpiPen twice. My boyfriend knows this, yet he continues to eat peanut products, but I just make sure not to kiss him when he has had something peanut that day. He washes, etc. Personally, I never liked that he just didn't stop because I feel like he was putting me in danger, but I also couldn't force him to stop either, and it has worked for the past four years. Here's what happened. So he came over into my dorm and we were just hanging out and he kissed me and a couple of minutes later, I could feel my throat swelling and my lips getting bigger. I instantly knew that I was having an allergic reaction. I grabbed my EpiPen and shot it into my leg and told to take me to the ER. Even with the EpiPen, I was struggling and was nearly passing out. My boyfriend was really freaking out too. Once I got to the ER, I was taken in and the last thing I remember was passing out on the wheelchair in. I woke up and my reaction was down and I was having the side effects of the adrenaline, but overall okay. I got my phone out and my phone was blown up with apologies on how he forgot he ate a Reese's cup and he was so sorry and to please forgive him. Once I finally got home and settled down, my parents picked me up. I told my boyfriend he should be responsible for my medical bill and a new EpiPen, the other one my school has, and he was telling me he has no money and he can't and that I have more money than him, etc., I was pretty peeved off at him because he nearly just killed me and now won't even take responsibility for my medical bill. Well, word got out to his family and I received rude texts from his mom saying it's my allergy so I should have to pay the medical bill and I was the one irresponsible. I got mad and texted my boyfriend saying it was dumb to bring his mom into this, then proceeded to say, if he doesn't, I'm going to take him to small claims court because I don't have an extra $5,000 to spare for a medical bill. He got very upset and I'm pretty sure our relationship is over now. I've gotten a lot more texts from his mom now and from his sisters and I'm choosing to ignore them. My parents agree with me that I should go and do that, but I'm just not sure. So... Would I be the asshole?